Razer has come back with something special. This thing is hopefully gonna blow your socks off, but we'll get to why soon enough. Thanks to Razer for sponsoring this video and for sending me this keyboard. Sponsors like Razer uh, let us make content like this at no cost to you and let us check out the latest gear so that we can showcase it. This is the Razer Black Widow V4 75%. Another mouthful of a name. This is their first 75%. I mean, if anything, it's Black Widow 75% version one, but I guess in terms of the Black Widow lineup, we are now at the fourth version. That's that's a lot of versions. I wonder if 10 years from now we'll be like Black Widow V14. So this is Razer's newest keyboard and it's got Razer's Gen 3 tactile mechanical switches. These are new and updated. They're tactile and quiet. We'll see about that quiet bit. I think when most gaming companies say quiet, they don't actually mean a silent switch. They mean a switch that's just not clicky. In our world, quiet equals silent. But in their world, it's a different thing. Hot swappable design. This is the first hot swappable keyboard and it's got an optimized typing experience. Whatever that means, I'm not sure. You've got cool RGB, of course, like any Razer keyboard. I should expect nothing less than the best of the best RGB. That's what they're known for. Ooh, what do we have here? We've got an exploded view. At the top, double shot ABS keycaps for ultimate shine through. RGB, of course, duh. Lubricated. Stabilizer, ooh. A gasket mounted FR4 plate, so also Razer's first gasket mounted offering as well. A tape enhanced PCB, I'm assuming that just means it's tape modded. And then sound dampening foams all around. I'm hoping they have learned from the custom keyboard market and it's gonna sound just like Mmm, super thock, you know? Their slogan for this keyboard is swap out, swap in, game on. With that, we are ready to commence. Oh, and did I mention it's got two year warranty? Nice. Inside, we've got a couple of accessories. This entire thing is recyclable. Once you unbox it, toss it in the recycling bin. We've got Razer stickers. Probably could put this on my laptop. What do we think? Razer logo right here, right next to other brands. Maybe they like that, maybe they don't. This is called Sticker Mounting Simulator 2003 Edition. Yeah. What you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down? Huh? I like it. Got a guide. It explains what all the keys are. It also explains how you take out switches and put them on too. It's a wrist it's plush, a little bouncy, and it connects right to the front of the case like so. Not a super strong magnet, but it does connect. And you can see that it sort of inches up over the keyboard. So alongside that, you have Razer's keycap and switch puller, and then their USB, USB-C to USB-A. It's longer than most other cords that I've used. It's at least a six foot cable. That's a nice cable. On the back of the keyboard, you've got six degree kick of feet and nine degree kick of feet. So two angles. I actually really Really like how they label the angles so that you know exactly what you're getting into. Although in real life, are you really gonna be like, hmm, today I'm feeling like nine degrees for my typing experience. No, I, I've, I've actually never had that thought cross my mind, but I like it nonetheless. It's supposed to be really easy to take apart. Razor. Sorry. Razer wanted this keyword to be very customizable to the end user. And today we are gonna take it apart, see how easy that process really is. So at the top here, got the roller. It's actually quite loud, but it has a nice rolling sound. And then you've got two buttons here. One of these does pause play and the other one does mute unmute. I think you can edit them on Razer Synapse. So we've got ABS double shot keycaps here. They're very clean, very thick, uh, see-through legends. Their legends have always been pretty clear. I've been using this for about a week, so far and there's been pretty much no oily fingerprints yet but from my other experiences using Razer keyboards it takes a couple months before that starts showing some wear and tear. But north facing hot swap sockets with five pins. The switches are three pin however. You got this diffuser dome here that you see in most Razer switches if not all Razer switches. It's a tactile switch. It's got a nice bottom out sound and it doesn't really have any pre-travel before you hit that bump. And then even if you're tapping lightly, you're still gonna hear the bottom out. Because it's a gaming switch, I think they only made the Force 50 grams, so it's pretty lightweight. So stabilizers here are plate mounted. They are pre-lubed. It's actually quite clean application where you have lube just on the housing here and then on the right angle bend here. So very clean. Nice. Good job. No ticking. Maybe the enter, just slight. Could use a just a slight little bit of some more there. RGB looking spectacular.
spectacular. We've got volume down, volume up. Press once to pause. Press twice to go to the next track. And then press three times to go to the previous track. Nice. And then this is just mute, unmute real quick. Cool. This one here is disabling the Windows key, also called gamer mode. We do have effects on the keyboard. We got static. Hello. Oh, you have to press FN control and then the effect. This one's called fire. Cool. Wave. Then I can change the direction of the wave. Spectrum cycling. That's why I like just the default. Go from one color to the next. Typical razor RGB fashion right there. It also has this underglow light on the side here. Oh, and uh, doing anything to the internals of your keyboard does void the warranty. So six screws with this, the top case really should just come off. Got a ribbon cable. Boom. Warranty voided. Here is what they mean by their enhanced tape mod. It's very thick. It's much thicker than any tape that I've used. On the PCB, you do have holes to install. PCB mounted stabilizers. All you have to do is take off your plate mounted ones and you can screw in right here, which is really cool. And they even have holes and cutouts for it. So you don't have to take off the tape to do that. And then here are the gaskets. They're massive gaskets. Also got foam on the sides of the case and then between the PCB and the plate we've got a nice layer of foam there too. So those are the internals. Very clean, very easy to take apart and put back in. That's it. Six screws on, six screws off. So this is what it sounds like. Pretty good. So I'm gonna replace some switches and just like compare and contrast and see which one you like better. I've got some switches that I actually want to try. Like, what does a clicky switch sound like in this keyboard? So loud, so loud. We've got Razor Tactile Gen 3 Orange, a clicky switch. It's not bad. Silent switch, linear, tactile. That's a little bit on the clacky side. And then a, another linear, but not as strong of a bottom out. Actually, this is a tactile. So Razer definitely has the lightest actuation force tactile. The other ones are pretty heavy. The clicky sounds pretty nice, but I can't imagine typing on that. And then the silent, ooh, the silent, silent. Listen to this silent switch. Ooh, yeah. Now let's plug it in Look at the RGB. Can't lose RGB after all. It is Razer keyboard. It's not as strong here with these keys. That's unfortunate. We just lack that diffusion. Hmm, it's like not worth it. <laughs> it sounds really nice. I would go for the silent switch, but then I would be just ruining the whole Razer RGB Chroma Studio thing. The white version is $199. The black version is $189.99, so $10 less. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention is that it does do gaming things, obviously. But it goes up to 8,000 hertz pulling rate. If you want that right out of the box, it's a thousand. But if you download the software, you can slide that slider right up. Ooh, another thing. These switches are available by themselves. They sell in packs of 36 for $25. 70 cents a switch about. So if you just wanted the switch, you could get that. Oh, we got Razer. $189.99. Connectivity, just USB-C, hot swappable, universal sockets, gasket. And in terms of stars, yeah, I would actually give it five. Uh, if you want access to the keyboard ranking table, it's in the description down below. Thanks to Razer for sponsoring this video. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I actually really like the keyboard. It is fantastic. If I were to mod it, I really would go for the silent switches, except you'd be missing out on some RGB. So there is a trade-off there. Thanks for watching. Bye. If you're interested in the product, check it out down below.